Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is in a waxing gibbous phase under the astrological sign of Gemini. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Aquarius. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, what is the message for Aquarius under this waxing gibbous moon? February, love, the month of love. What is love? What's going on in terms of love with Aquarius? Mm. Oh, hi Aquarius. Hi Cross Watcher. How are you? Aquarius, you're going to be here and your lover is going to be there or whoever's top of mind. And <clears throat> having said that, you know, energy can be reversed. This may or may not be your reading. Take what you're able to resonate with and hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what's going on with you, how you resonate. And hit the notification bell. Okay. Patience. I said you're going to be here, and that means also you're the first card. Patience. Deception. Wow. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm hearing like you have been patient long enough with someone's deception. Somebody's saying, I've been patient long enough with someone's deception. Okay, spirit. Tell me about Aquarius and patience. Whoa. King of Wands. Mm-hmm. I've been patient with your sexual escapades. I've been patient with uh, fulfilling your desires. This is some type of uh, sexual energy I feel with the King of Wands in terms of fulfilling their sexual desires, their prowlessness, their yes, getting what they want. Somebody's been patient with that for a long time. Mm. But yes, didn't I say that? That's what I was feeling too. It's like it's enough. Like they have forgiven this energy a lot. Um, somebody has just turned the other cheek and mm, they don't feel like they can do that anymore. Okay. Tell me about this deception here, Holy Spirit. Tell me about the deception. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Crossroads. Hmm. Wondering what to do about it. Which way to go. There's only one way to go from this and it's up. <laughs> Because this type of deception is like an all-time low. Yeah. The only thing that can offset this type of deception is the truth, the light. I'm going to move this out of the way. The truth and the light, you know. This is a hurtful type of energy. This is um, dark. Some people are dealing with spells and... Uh, whew energy that really is meant to hurt, um, impede, stop, mm. confuse, cunning, insidious, baffling, energy that tries to trick you, make you think one way, but there something else is really going on. Tell me the mutual energy between these two, Holy Spirit, Aquarius, February, Waxing Gibbous. Yeah. Whoever the patient one is has really been thinking about how long they have put up with this deceptive energy as a result of 
I feel piss, uh, promiscuity. Yes, I'm feeling that a lot. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. So what's this contemplation about? Both of you are thinking whoever is the king of wands and is out there, they're contemplating what's going on too. Um, feeling like maybe that's you and you're feeling maybe that's them. There's a lack of trust here. What else here? Okay, no. All right, we're back to the tarot. Qualified contemplation for me. What are they thinking about? Their relationship. Mm. Their relationship. And, and their relationship with another. Three of pentacles. This does involve a third party. I'm feeling. Mm. So tell me what's going to happen or what's going on currently in this situation. Holy Spirit, angel guides with, for Aquarius. Mm. Yes, the lack of love being unfulfilled. Whoever is the deceptive one is definitely going through some type of karma. It's a fight. It's a fight because you can't harbor this type of energy and not feel the repercussions of it yourself. <sighs> and they don't like it with the Nine of Cups reverse. They don't feel comfortable. They know this is not leading them to what they want. They're off balance. You know, they're thinking about how this triangle makes them feel off balance. Somebody f feels off balance as a result of this lopsided relationship with this extra person, these extra people. And it's been multiple times with the Ten of Swords, you know. It's been multiple times that somebody has been patient with this type of behavior. Tell me more. Longing to move forward. You know, things get stale. It gets old. It's like, come on. We mature. And so currently I feel like both of you may be feeling stuck and the need to think about where you are. Is this where you want to be? Are you comfortable with that? What does the future hold for? Pisces. Mm. Definitely off balance. I feel like, Aquarius, if this is you um, being in this current relationship, this past relationship, I don't know where you are. This past relationship here has definitely made you humble. It's humbled you in some way. Um, because you are the king of wands, too. You're very outgoing and desirable. You get what you want. You're ambitious. You know, you are a people person. So is the king of wands. That's why he's able to achieve whatever he sets his mind to. And right now, you want peace. You know, you want to feel something new, um, a feeling of tranquility. This has been kind of lopsided, um, a lack of self. And that's why the King of Cups appears, because if this doesn't change, a lack of love is forecast. Okay. And, and I feel like you've been patient long enough with this scenario. You're looking for a new relationship. That's right. That's you, Aquarius, especially under this waxing gibbous moon. It's like you're reviewing the situation and you're changing your focus. Because remember I was saying, I feel like you're the king of wands. And the knight of wands is all about 
going after. He, I see a knight on a horse. He's swift. He's quick. He's going after what he wants, what brings him peace and tranquility. Because the objective is to get temperance upright, right? Yeah, that's the objective. Somebody wants temperance upright. Tell me about this deception, Holy Spirit. Tell me about the deception. What is this? Qualify the deception. The lack of love, the lack of wish fulfillment. Tell me about it. Anything else you want to say on it? Okay. Bottom card. Yeah, the Six of Swords. It has to be brought to an end. Like, this has to stop. It can only go on for so long. You know, this person that is deceiving others, that is living this double life or uh, is trying to destroy, uh, destroy others' characters or whatever they're trying to do, they, too, want to bring an end to this. They want to move on. There's something that they want to unbind themselves from, an energy that they feel they're ready to move forward. You know, he's facing a different direction from this deception. Mm -hmm. Page of Cups, yeah. Wanting to have a new adventure, definitely to feel a new adventure, something that brings them back to life, that moves the dial forward. They've been having spiritual conversations with their intuition on how to change because the six of swords is here again for them too they too don't feel comfortable and that's what i was saying this deception has led to a lack of love which is totally opposite from what this person who's going through all this deception or all of this deceptive energy. It's like shadow energy, low vibrational energy. It's energy that forces you to take a good hard look in the mirror. And because you're so uncomfortable with that, you have to move. You have to make a change. You know, it consumes you, right? You don't want temperance to be off balance in the future when it comes to your relationships. And so I see you here wanting to hold on to that King of Wands energy after a heartbreak, a very difficult cycle, challenging, a lot of obstacles, and wanting to restore some balance. Mm -hmm. And being patient. These are two cards of patience. You know, and sometimes every once in a while, Aquarius impatience cre creeps in. And you have to, like, regain control, take the reins again, and restore some tranquility. And that's where you are, having that ability to become patient again when impatience presents itself. That is what brings successful, peaceful relationships. And you become more of yourself, you know? You're able to like transmute any energy that disturbs your peace. Very important for you these days. Tell me about Aquarius here, Holy Spirit. Anything else you want to say for Aquarius and this energy of love? Mm, bottom card, Queen of Swords. There you are, Queen of Swords. Whoa. And your sword is up. Yeah, I feel that you are very protective of your peace. You are setting boundaries. Um, six of Pentacles, setting boundaries, restoring balance, um, filling up your cup, you know. You have somebody filling up their cup there. You have the scales here. And, you know, the pen, Six of Pentacles is all about reciprocity, being balanced, being stable. Pentacles are always about stability and money and foundations and giving. And so you are very, um, you are very selective about who you're giving your energy to. 
because anything that takes away your peace, your tranquility, your balance, right? That's what temperance is. You are cutting that up with the queen of swords. The king or queen of swords is like they're slicing it. They're very impatient with anybody who disturbs their peace in February. Mm -hmm. With any relationship that's lopsided, mm -hmm. that can't hold its own. Um, that's right. Your temperament is short. Um, because you have had such a tumultuous past cycle that you have very little tolerance for anything that disturbs your peace right now. That's what I'm feeling. One more card for Aquarius, February love. Mm -hmm. You've grown. You've grown. And I like that you're, you're still um, in this night energy, this explorative energy. Like you didn't let this past relationship take the life out of you totally mm -mm. yeah what else you're very optimistic I see in the future especially when it comes to relationships you're very impatient if it lacks love <laughs> didn't I say that the queen of cups falls reverse yeah you are very impatient with any relationship that lacks love some of you, because this is Aquarius, are being told, um, steer away from relationships that don't bring love. Because that was a key ingredient that was missing in the past. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, because if you love somebody, you're not going to share that love. A certain type of love you just don't share, that intimate love. You know, love is about giving the other 100% of you. Mm. Okay. You can't do that when you're sharing that energy. Okay. There's something about this Queen of Cups reverse. Tell me more. Spirit, what, what do you want to say? There is also an aloofness sometimes with you, and Spirit wants you to be aware of that in the future as you um, move into new relationships. Okay, because you're very selective now. You're very selective now, and there's a energy of impatience when somebody doesn't act the way that you expect them to or want them to or desire them to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Tell me about this Queen of Cups reverse. Why is she reverse? Somebody could have difficulties. You have the King and the Queen of Cups reverse. And this is future energy. That's why Spirit's calling our attention to this. Okay. Especially coming behind temperance being reversed and, and the past being unbalanced. Okay. What else, Spirit? Ooh, okay. Seven of Pentacles. And the hangman. Yes, he wants you to think of this. Um, somebody could have been with the other for money rather than love. Um, that could have been the, initials in t the initial intention. Um, just wanting them to get away from your old pattern, break away from what you've always done. And, and it wasn't love at first, but your heart has changed. Things have changed. Your perspective has changed. When it comes to this relationships, coming to future relationships. Mm. Okay. I think your perspective has changed on any relationship where there's a lack of love. The king and queen may exist, but if there's no love, you have nothing. Wow. Okay. So... 42 some final cards here for Aquarius. Okay. 
be careful of being so guarded that you miss out on love. Hmm. Pay attention to relationships and how you perceive them when it comes to love. Give it a fair shot. Mm -hmm. What else for Aquarius? Give it a fair shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because your sword is raised after this Ten of Swords. And your sword as the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you. Your energy is raised. You're very guarded. And spirit doesn't want this grief to keep you disconnected from love in the future. That's right. Okay, spirit. For both of you, this deception too. Whoever is the one who's deceiving and, and is really tired of it. You know, they want to bring some peace and tranquility, stability to their life. They do. And um, this person has some childhood issues. Um, maybe they are... They were sexually abused as a child. Could that could have stimulated their their need uh, to be deceptive when it comes to love, to be deceived about love, their feelings concerning love, something like that. Okay. Okay, spirit. I dropped a card, but we're gonna keep going. Okay. So final cards. Yeah. Yeah. Final cards. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'm gonna. Oh, God, that's the card. Okay. Yes. And maybe there's you two have children together from the past. Um, that's what's part of this contemplation. Mm. Or like we said, something happened to this person as a child. Is there something else you want to say for Aquarius in February? Yeah, trust. This situation is calling for you to have trust. And this is for you, though, Aquarius, because you show us the Queen of Swords, which your sword's raised. And you also have the Queen of Cups reversed, and they have the King of Cups reversed. And this is future energy, and Spirit wants to change your perspective on this with the hangman. He doesn't want you to be withdrawn, to be sad, to be disconnected from your heart from love in the future you're going to need some faith some trust your trust needs to be restored mm. that's what i have for you aquarius i hope you were able to identify with something that was said if so like subscribe hit the notification bell leave me a comment tell me what's going on with you would love to hear from you if you've already subscribed mm, thank you for giving me some love and until the next moon phase, Aquarius, namaste.